Jeremiah 21 is our first look into the reign of King Zedekiah in the book of Jeremiah. The armies of Nebuchadnezzar are pounding at the gates, and in verse 2, King Zedekiah sends messengers to Jeremiah asking him, Inquire of the Lord for us. For Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, is making war against us. Perhaps the Lord will deal with us according to all this wonderful deeds and will make him withdraw from us. If we were to pluck this chapter out of the rest of the story, this seems like an almost honorable request. After all, isn't it right that they should call upon God? Well, let's look at 2 Chronicles 36, where we see Judah's heart towards God during this time. Verses 14 and 15 say, All the officers of the priests and the people likewise were exceedingly unfaithful, following all the abominations of the nations. And they polluted the house of the Lord that he had made holy in Jerusalem. The Lord, the God of their fathers, sent persistently to them by his messengers, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they kept mocking the messengers of God, despising his words, and scoffing at his prophets, until the wrath of the Lord rose against his people, until there was no remedy. When we arrive in chapter 21 of Jeremiah, the people have followed after abominations, polluted the temple, rejected and mocked the messengers of God, and despised the warnings. I think F.B. Meyer said it well when he describes the attitude of the people as, they were more eager for immunity from the consequences of their sins than to repent and return to God. What can we learn from this story? First, that God is gracious to forgive. He gave years of opportunity to repent, but he won't be mocked by an unrepentant heart who's trying to escape the consequences of their sin. Our warning today is simple. If you're living in a way that leads to destruction, whatever sinful behavior that might be, and simultaneously asking God to keep you from consequences, the reality is, is that you are far from God. There's hope though. You can have a right relationship with God even in the middle of the consequences. If you confess your sin, put it behind you. He is faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you. And from there, he'll help you restore your life built upon the firm foundation that is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm.